welcome back to the shop. It's been too long. I took a vacation and a couple of branding irons came in, blah, 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 blah. Excuses, excuses. We're back to the guitar. All right. Got everything drum sanded and put the, the right thickness, got the glue up together, got them book matched. Those are all good to go. The next thing I'm going to do um, is the get the stock together for the bracing on the inside. Um, all those little bracing pieces need to come out of some spruce I have here. Um, these, this piece of spruce is the same, there was a chunk here that went into the 335, the little shims between the front and back skins and the maple slab in the center. This is some really good spruce. It's very tight grain. I would say there's 40 or 50 grain rings, growth rings per inch in any given way and it's fully quarter sound so it's very good stuff it's really light too but it's probably because i'm used to walnut and maple and heavy stuff um, but what i've done is i've taken the rough measurements of this board it's rough stock it's rough sound all the way around i've taken the rough measurements of this board i went into sketchup and i drew each of the binding pieces that i need and i sort of did like a layout a, a cut list or a cut plan sort of thing for maximizing my yield because this is the only bit of the good spruce that I've gotten, it will take me a little bit to find some more good stuff. So I want to maximize this yield as much as I possibly can. And so there's a about a four. Eh, the plans are all in millimeters or all in metric. So I may just start talking in metric here. I don't really have a preference. Really, I'm comfortable in both. Um, I'm used to standard or SE. I'm used to imperial, but I have no problems with metric either. So. I'll probably be shouting stuff out in millimeters, but I may also just flip and do standard. You'll see that. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, but we basically want a chunk that's about 400 millimeters. I'm going to cut it a little bit longer than that to start, and that'll get the longest bits of bracing. Um, I'll show you the layout here as well. All right, so this is kind of the layout. It's a, the outer size. Forgive my really bad screen. Uh, recording here. I don't, I'm in the shop and I don't have screen capture set up on the shop, so this will have to do. Uh, I may re-record this, I don't know. But So we've basically done a rough size. This is the rough width of that piece of spruce we just looked at, and this this length coincides to about 400 millimeters. Right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says 400 millimeters right here. Um, and then each of these little lines down here are the sticks, and I'll show you here orbit around a little bit you can see that it's it's laid out with different pieces in different locations so that it try to maximize this yield um, there's a couple of cuts that are uh, full length you'll see and then there's a few that are shorter than that 400 millimeters so we're gonna have a cutting sequence that will make sure we use the most of the boards um, possibilities. Um, I may just leave this at the 400 mil. I might just cut it straight across. The one theory is I could cut um, down about here into that board and then cut this way and just basically notch the board. Um, but I think I'm just going to do a 400 millimeter uh, cross cut and then I'll save this off cut. This would be enough to do at least one more acoustic guitar at least one more uh, double O. So that is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of keep this open here in the shop and then I'm just going to measure. I'm going to start by just measuring how long or how wide this one is, which is nine millimeters. So if I cut it a little bit heavier than nine, these are actually bigger than they need to be anyways because I rough shape, I rough sized them. Um, they're wider than they need to be so that I have some room for drum sanding and whatnot. So I'll also be consulting the plans to figure out exactly which piece those piece that is. And yeah, you know, we're just going to get some bracing cut up. So bring it back over to the bench and we'll start doing that stock cut, the stock prep for that. OK, so our first major cut, I think I'm going to grab my tri-square real fast here. Um, so the first major, in fact, we'll probably grab this too. Just do some rough layout here. So first major cut's going to be at 400 millimeters or so, and I'm going to go a little bit wider than that. We'll do uh, 420. We'll do four, 405. 
another five mil. Let's do 40, 410. So let's say right about there, it gives me some room for squaring up. So there's the, the first cut potentially. One thing I could do, let's go measure that real fast. Oh, it's 60, it was 60 millimeters. Um, so if we come, one thing I could do is come in here. This isn't metric, but my tape is. If we come up 60, and just cut here, and cut 60 here, and just one of the thoughts I was thinking, one of my thoughts are, and I think I will actually do this, just to get my rough stock, is we'll only cut like this. I'll leave this attached to this main board, that way if I need longer pieces, I have it. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Um, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room outside of each of these lines, but other than that, I think that's what we'll do. Um, so we'll get have to choose which saw I'm going to use. We'll use the big band saw for this. Alright, so we did the rip. I'm just gonna take it here in the bench and cross cut it by hand. Pretty simple cut here, no problems. Just make sure I stop where I'm supposed to stop at all. all right, let's get that out of the way. Cross cut mode. Now let's just find. I'm gonna real quickly transfer that line around so I can see it from this side. And this isn't, this is not a critical, critical? So not a critical, it's not a critical length. I just want to make sure it's, there's enough. And again, I'm using squares here, but it's only as a helpful rough guide to get me in the right ballpark. Not a big deal. Uh, I'm just going to grab the saw, the Sara, and I'm going to stay outside that line just for a little added insurance. How are we doing on that side? Almost. There we go. One freed slab. Nothing to it. This can go back in the shed. I have wasted none of the other lengths. I think it's fine. I could probably just cut it. Oops, I could have probably just cross cut it, but eh, we're maximizing yield. Okay, so all of our bracing is coming out of that. No problems. All right, so we sawed that off, and I just went to the joiner real quick, cleaned up a couple of faces, got a couple of square reference faces. <clears throat> so now we're going to do, the first one is a 9 millimeter. It finished, well, it actually finishes it a lot less than 9 millimeters, but we're going to start by, I'm just going to put my scale against the blade here, put, it, put the furthest tooth out, and just get us within that vicinity. This will leave me a lot of room for drum sanding as well. This will be less than a 10 millimeter wide thing and that's perfect. Okay, contact, current turk. A little bit of oomph, put a little suck on it. All right, here we go. Okay, that one finished off at just under 10 millimeters, which is perfect. It's drawn as nine millimeters, so it's more than enough. Um, I'm gonna go back to the joiner quick, clean this face up, and we'll do that again. I need two of these this size. All right, we just did this one and this one. Those are the full length ones. You can see over here, I've got a block that's thicker than these two, so we're gonna cut this off right now. We're gonna cross cut this off at, what size? Um, 310 is where we need it. This thing is sitting at 330. So between 30, 310 and 330, so 3, 320 makes, makes good sense. We'll just cut this, let's cross, this, cross cut this at 320 now. All right, so now we need to cross cut this at the 320. 
And we're going to go from this end, I think. Sure, why not? And uh, go to 320. And around in there is a good spot. And I'm just going to do this real fast on the miter saw. I don't really need to be all that precision anyway. It's a rough cut, so. Okay, so we save this piece. This piece gets us that one short little fat piece. The rest of these, this, the rest of this goes back to the joiner and clean up this face real fast. I probably could have cleaned that face up too, but that's okay. Clean this face up real quick just so we, so we can get another three slices out of this. Um, two are nine and one is ten, I think. So we got the last piece, it's just a little thicker than the previous ones, at about 10, we're a little thin here, aren't we? It's okay because we need only a short bit, but it's a little thinner than I'd have liked. It's okay, that will work with it. Okay, so our last little cut is on this short stubby bit. It's about a 15 millimeter block. So we're just gonna just take this jointed face and take 15. This is set right now to way too little. We'll go to about, come on now, loosen. We'll go to about 17 here. Yeah, that should be enough. Because 15 is still too big as well, so that's okay. All right, last cut. All right, so far, from our original board, these are, aside from the sawdust, this is everything that came from it, not counting this little block here. This is everything that came from it, okay? So far, from that, this is the only thing I'm throwing away so far. This is extra, this can go in the scrap bin, I will use it on other things, maybe another block like this. The next bit now is to rip each of these down into their requisite pieces, and then I'll cut them to length after that. So this is where the sizes get a little bit more varied. And so I'm just gonna take this one away. This one is for T2. Let's start with that, because I know that's all that comes out of this. You like how it, it's got a good sound. Every board in this should have a decent sound, I believe. At least that's my understanding. Okay, so we're gonna go get this one. I'm gonna go get that measurement real quick. This is, it says 16 here, so we could just go a little bit wider than 16. Let's just do that. I'm gonna pull the saw back out here because I don't know why I put it away in the first place. And we're gonna take that, gonna take that ruler, because it's metric, and we're gonna set up for 16. Oh, you can't see. So let's do that first. Okay, so. I don't know if that last shot was all that useful, but basically what we've got are all of the, we've got enough wide stock to make all the pieces we need. Now I'm going to make each piece oversized. And it's basically from a rough stock dimension standpoint, and this is just for rough saw and dimensioning. Um, it's basically um, 20 millimeters and 15 millimeters and then a, a small little strip of six millimeter. Then we'll deal with this little junk, this little chunk here. But we'll start with 20, just roughly set up for 20 here. Um, 20 is way bigger than we need, but we're going to start there so I have some room for sanding and, and such. So we're going to start at 20, and I'm just going to pop each piece that I need um, in off of this board, off of each board, and just go for it. So this I can lower a bit and we can just go for it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, eh, we'll just keep going. We'll, I'll deal with the sound here in the editing. So, I'm just gonna start cutting. So this is for T2. We're gonna start with T2, it's 20 millimeters. Okay. That's this piece right there. Now, this is extra, this is scrap. Scrappies. All right, this one, will be beef, uh, sorry, will be 
T6 and T5, which we'll do another 20 millimeter real quick. We'll do two. And I went with 20 millimeters because now I don't have to go back to the joiner every time. And there's T6 and T5, okay? It's a little bit more scrappies. We'll actually be probably using some of this because there's a few spots where um, it'll be T4, I think it's called. These are uh, reinforcements around the, um, they're reinforcements around the sound hole. All right, so the next one, we got another one that's 20 millimeters a piece. This is gonna be for uh, B4 and B3. Let's do two of these. B4, that's that one, and B3 will do. Try real hard not to shove my finger into the blade. B3 and B4, okay? There's another bit of scrappies we'll probably make use of. All right, these two, uh, there's, I think we get one more set of 20 out of it, and then the other one goes to 16. I'm gonna check the measurements real fast here before I decide on that. Yes, one gets 20 and one gets 16, 16, or 15, 15, and six. So we'll do, cut this down as 20s real quick. D. Hey, you should put the dust collector on, huh? This will be T10. This one will be T9. Oh no, these are not T's, these are B's. Excuse me, those are not T's, those are B's. These are B2 and B1. Those are all 20 millimeters tall, or all, they're 16, but yes. Okay, this one, this one we have to reset. We're done with all our 20s. Let me double check one more thing real fast. I wanna make sure that thick block, if that's a 20, we'll cut it now. No, it's a 15, okay. All right, so we're gonna do a new, a new setting here. Where's that tier? 15, so we're gonna cut these off at 15 real quick. Doo -doo -doo. This may or may not be the right way to go about what I'm doing, but it's how I'm going about what I'm doing. So, it's gonna reach, I mean, it's ultimately making bigger boards into smaller boards. It's how you get there is less important than arriving there. So that's 15. And remember, these are all really rough sizes. These are way oversized, so, all right. Two of these, and then with luck, I should still be able to get. Okay, this is T10 and T9. These are shorter. Yeah, they finish off at 13. Yep, there's enough there. Okay, now this last bit gets cut to six or uh, seven millimeters. And I'm going to do both. It's going to basically be a square by the time it's all done. So I've got to reset one more time. Um, this one is technically supposed to be at 15, but we've already cut it. Oh. It is at 15. All right, it's fine. All right, so this thing we're going to cut down a little bit. We're going to move our fence to seven millimeters. Nice, tight, small cut here. Right there, it looks like. Let's double check that against the widest tooth. Yeah, that's pretty close. Go right there. Okay, then we'll take this piece and we will do our thinning uh, seven on this dimension. Okay, might use that for bracing around or reinforcing the sound hole area. Now we take this side and we do another seven. Okay. And 
there's our square bit for these little guys, the little mini crosses. T6, I'm sorry, T7 and T8. That gives me a pair of those, if you're following along in the plans. Um, this thing now is going to get cut to size. We'll do this little block. I'm going to go check that measurement real fast. That block is... Forty by fifteen. Okay. In the rough, in the final uh, T one is. I don't have numbers on here. There. Yeah, they don't give me the numbers on here. I found them in the drawing though. I measured and it was forty by fifteen. So we take this thing. I'm gonna reset to fifteen because I kind of wanna wanna be in that vicinity. I probably should have done it while it was. Do, 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 while it was still set at 15 earlier, but that is okay. Alright, we'll do this. And then give it a little bit of a nudge there, just so. That's a bit rough, son, but that's okay. thinnest piece of waste stock. I think I'll have the whole project done. This block is done. All right. There's a piece. Uh, actually, yeah, that's this piece. This is uh, mahogany. These are mahogany. Okay. That's it for the spruce rough cutting. So I've got a little bit of cross cutting I need to do. I've got some sanding. I want to get them down to their final dimensions because right now they're, excuse me, they're bands on and they're kind of crappy on one face at least. Um, they are not the smoothest, and I would like them smoother than that. So we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, I think real quick we'll just do some quick drum sanding. Just to get things to final dimensions. Um, yeah, let me get set up for that, and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's everybody's favorite, favorite pastime. It's drum sanding. Um, it's just the fastest way I'm going to get these to the right dimensions. It does not need to be this precise, I don't think, but plan call for it so I'm going to try to match them as best I can so pretty much everything is eight millimeters except T2 T2 is nine millimeters so I start with the thickest and work my way down the rest of these are all going to get run to nine millimeters and then and then we'll uh, and then we'll move everybody all the others will take T2 out of the mix and all the others will go down to eight millimeters. And then there's this little guy that's got to go to six. So I'm just going to get this going. Um, it's going to be bo bo boring footage, but it's footage and it's part of the process. So start with T2 and just get it ready to go. And uh, I think we'll just, I'm going to clean off this belt. This belt is nasty. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this is the boring part of drum sanding these to thickness. And then we'll drum sand them to width after that. So stay tuned. Here we go. Um. One moment of inattention. I set it down sideways. Why did I do that? I was chasing a... But luckily this was T2. It was the thick one. It's still half a millimeter thicker than it needs to be. We're okay. Barely. I got lucky. Okay, so they're all the thickness now. Last thing is to get them to width. The widths are interesting. So you guys here, the backs are all 16. So this is B4, B3, fall on the floor. B4, 
before B3, B2, B1. Wet be worry. Uh, it's a weird word. Um, if you know German or Swiss, I think it's German. I said it wrong, but it's spelled wet be worby. It's a, I don't know, it's a Zweifel chips. Anyway, uh, these are T6. Okay, T5 and 6 are uh, 16s as well. Okay, so we've got four that are 6, 6, 6 that are 16. These guys are 13. 10 and 9 are 13. 9 and 10 are 13, and you are 16. So this piece is done until it gets cut to length. These guys are all 16. You guys are 13. So what I will do is find my squarish bottom. And uh, I think I'm going to attempt to re resolve that. It, uh, it got sideways in the machine. Hopefully I can get most of that off. Anyway, um, so we've got some good edges on some of these, but not on all of them. These guys are 13. These guys are 16. So the first thing I'll do is get them, get everybody a straight f edge that I can use and have downward facing. And I drop something on the ground here, a piece of masking tape. All right. So now more drum sanding, this time in the vertical orientation. And we'll get that going. So bring you back here. More music. <laughs> 